Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Marie and thank you for joining me today. So on Sundays, my channel is all about DIYs and crafting. It could be anything in the house or in the garden. But during the week, it could be anything from travel to cooking to lifestyle. I do like to mix things up. Starting on December the 1st, I will be doing Vlogmas. Now I do work part-time, so I'm fingers crossed going to try and attempt every day up until Christmas day. But don't worry, every Sunday I still will be uploading a DIY or craft project. Now for today's project, we are working in the garage. We are installing some shelving. It's not a pretty project, it's not a fun project, but it is a necessary project because that will be my new work area. Let's get this project started. I'm gonna roll up my sleeves and jump right in. Okay, so these are the tools that you need. You need one drill, one leveler, a tape measure, hammer, screwdriver, drill bit, a stud finder, some screws that will go from the bracket into the actual um, shelf, and then you need longer screws that will go from the bracket into the actual wall. And then we need some anchors. That, those are all the pieces that you need. Today we are using IKEA. We're using the Ekbe and the Japan shelf. So they look really filthy because we just literally had a clear out of the garage and this is now going to be my work area. And we stumbled across these old shelves that we didn't throw out, which I'm glad we didn't. So um, we're now going to install the shelves up here. Okay, so now we've located where the studs are. They're not in the place where we need our brackets to be. So instead of taking a screw and going straight into the stud, we're now going to use wall anchors so we can put the shelves exactly where we want them to be. Okay, so first things first, we need to measure the shelf and then measure the space on the wall where the shelf is going to sit and then we can work out exactly where the brackets are going to go. So here I've measured the entire length of the shelf, which is 47 inches. I'm now measuring from each end in 9 inches and that's where the brackets are going to be located. So I'm taking my bracket and I'm placing it where it needs to be and just taking the leveler and making sure that the bracket is dead straight. Now that I know that the bracket is straight, I can then do my very first pilot hole. Now that I've removed the bracket, I can see the pilot hole and now I'm gonna take a larger drill bit and drill a larger hole so I can fit the plug in. When working with wall plugs, you want to do light taps with a hammer versus hammering it in hard like a nail because it will bend. Okay, again, I'm just taking the leveler, making sure that the bracket is straight because now I need to um, make a second pilot hole because I need to insert another screw at the bottom of the bracket. Okay, that's the second wall plug going in now. That's for the bottom part of the bracket. Okay, that's the first bracket up. Another three to go. Okay, so we got the first shelf up. The second shelf we want directly above it. And so an easy way to do that is basically go to the edge of your shelf with your leveler and then make sure that this is level at the top, like so. 
And then we want the second shelf to be roughly around here. I'm just going to do a little pencil mark. Obviously, I'd be doing smaller pencil marks if we were inside the house, but this is the garage and I'm not worried about marks on the wall. So we know where the um, shelf is going to end directly above this shelf. So I don't really need to measure that side. All I now need to do is measure 47 inches, which is the length of this shelf from this point going that way. Okay, so we measured from this point uh, 47 inches and now I'm just going to use the leveler to mark a straight line between these two points. So that now gives me a reference point of where to hang the brackets from. So here I'm measuring from the edge of the shelf to the bracket and then I'm going to take that same measurement and go up to where the next shelf will be so I know exactly where to place the bracket. When we step away the two brackets will be directly above each other. So I'm just using a small drill bit here. That's going to be my starter point. So if I hang the bracket above here, I can do just the start point here. I changed to a bigger drill bit now. Now we're going to make the hole. second hole obviously we're covering up where we want to screw we want to make sure that this is now straight so I get the shorter leveler and I'm just making sure that this is now straight so now I've changed back to the smaller one make another pilot hole right here put the bigger drill bit in So now I can just move this out of the way slightly so now I can work. So I'm now repeating the same process all over again for the other side. Okay, so the first two shelves are up. So here we're just adjusting the top of the work surface, which is just going to be a temporary measure until we get a new work surface. So these two shelves were much easier to put up. No brackets, uh, just four holes in the wall and Bob's your uncle. Okay, so here's a finished product. It doesn't look pretty, but it is functional and that's what I need for a workspace. So I have my two wooden IKEA shelves over here. Um, these are going to be all my, like my paints, my stains, my screws, a couple of future projects up top and some um, work cloths so I don't get paint spray all over his motorbikes. And then over here, I'm not sure what I'm going to use. I know I am going to hang, uh, when I dry my brushes, I'm going to hang them from here because you should never dry a brush laying down because you don't want the water to go up into the metal piece of the brush. It ruins it, so that would be a great place to hang brushes for them to dry. We do need to work on some sort of um, worktop here, but that's another project. All under here are future projects, and then a couple more future projects, and some dust cloths, and all my paint supplies down here. And then this big frame here is also a future project. So I'm going to use this table. This is going to stay here also. 
um, so I can sit down and work. And I've got a couple of work stools here. So yeah, it's looking good, it's coming together. So I'm really happy with this. And my husband's gonna hang a light down the centerpiece, I guess, so I can work in here at night time so he can watch his football in peace. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this week's video and if you did give me a thumbs up and please consider subscribing because that will help my channel to grow. Also drop me a comment because I will reply and hopefully I'll see you next week.